Hello everyone. Let's try to solve this question. Now this question can be solved based on two chapters because you have studied this concept in both the chapters, right? First you study it in anatomy of plants. Anatomy chapter when we study secondary growth topic. And you also study it in plant growth and development. Plant growth and development chapter, right? In this chapter also, you have a particular topic, differentiation, de-differentiation and re-differentiation. This may, this uh, basis pe aap ya se solve kar sakte, right? So, let's read the question first. Formation of interfascicular cambium from fully developed parenchyma cells is an example for, and these are the options, differentiation, re-differentiation, de-differentiation and maturation. Now, what we have studied so far is that if you have a meristematic cell and it gets matured, achieves a specific shape, size and function, right? But loses the cell division ability. So, meristematic is dividing cells, right? Meristem matlab, it's me dividing cells, but they are not specialized structurally and functionally. Now, this unspecialized or undifferentiated meristematic cells when it forms permanent cells like any parenchyma or polenchyma, right? Then this process is differentiation. If you have a permanent cell which becomes meristematic like for example a parenchyma which is permanent again forms meristematic like we have specifically the ray parenchyma. Konsa parenchyma hai? Ray parenchyma cells. Write it again. We have the ray parenchyma. Or you also call it medullary rays. Right? So during secondary growth. Right? These ray parenchyma cells or the medullary rays. Which are already permanent cells. Specialized they become meristematic and they actually give rise to this interfascicular cambium. Interfascicular cambium. Later on, this interfascicular cambium differentiates again. So, there is a re-differentiation and it gives rise to the secondary xylem and secondary phloem. So, if we see all the processes, right? Simple and meristematic cell permanent mein convert ho gaya sabse pehle in the plant body then this is differentiation what is this differentiation if you have a permanent cell like a parenchyma cell and it becomes meristematic like interfascicular cambium is a meristematic cell this is the exact ulta process that means de differentiation right and suppose if you take this meristem right de differentiated one and this again forms another permanent tissue, permanent cell, like secondary xylem or secondary phloem. So, this process is what will happen? Dubara differentiation. Hua. That means re differentiation. What will happen? Re differentiation. Simple. Meristematic to permanent is differentiation. Permanent to meristematic is de differentiation. And this de differentiated one, meristematic. Again differentiates. So, there is re-differentiation. And again you will get new permanent cells. Question mein aapko pucha hai. Formation of interfascicular cambium from fully developed parenchyma cells. Matlab, wo is process ki baat kar rahe hai. Right? Yes, formation of interfascicular cambium from the parenchyma. So, this is obviously an example of de-differentiation. So, humara answer ho jayega option number 3. Right? Answer is option number 3. D-differentiation. I hope this helps you. Thank you.